So it's 11a squared b squared minus 33ab all over negative 11ab. So it's the whole thing divided by negative 11ab. And as usual, I want you guys, I hope you guys will take the first step and divide each individual term by ab. And we see there's going to be cross cancelling happening. So I'd also like you guys to expand these squares. So I'm hoping you'll all write this, 11a, a, b, b. Because a squared is just a times a, b squared is just b times b. Same way that like five squared is 25, but it's also like, it's just five times five, right? Or, you know, three squared is just three times three. So x squared, a squared is a times a, b squared is just b times b. So anyway, so it's that divided by negative 11, a, B. And then we have subtract minus 33 AB all over negative 11 AB. Okay with that? And I guess if anyone's watching from home, if you could press pause on the video and try it from there, and then then I'll run through it. Run through this, yeah. So so everybody, I hope you all press pause and tried this. I'm just going to do the signs first. Positive over negative is negative. Now 11 cross cancels, A cross cancels, and one of these Bs cross cancels, leaving us with positive A, B, all over, oh, sorry, sorry, negative, sorry, negative, A, B, all over one, which is just A, B, or negative A, B. And then over here, we'll do the sign first. It's negative over negative, which is positive. And 11 into 11 goes once here and three times here. The A's cross cancel. The B's also cross cancel. So we have positive three times one times one over one times one times one, so three. And so that's our answer. Negative AB plus three, which by the way, can also be written three minus AB that's also correct. Either way is fine. And they're not like germs. Okay. Great stuff.